All right, so when did you hear that something was up with Laramie Tunsil? Um, a few friends of mine uh, texted, um, and Mayock <laughs> looking down at his phone, and he says to me during one of the commercial breaks, are you hearing what's going on with Tunsil? Uh, I then <clears throat> Googled Tunsil, and a photograph of a gas mask with a bong sticking out of it pops up, and I'm like, all right, I've done now 12 drafts, <laughs> and I've never – I've never had to. Okay, now now let me go Google bong hit. Okay, I mean that's this is. I've never been anywhere in this sort of territory. And then towards the end of the draft, we found out his Instagram got hacked with a much more with much more serious ramifications. I mean, obviously, the gas mask and the marijuana is something that cost him twelve spots in the draft potentially. Not. Not really, obviously, from one, but he was the guy who was, when we left the combine, everybody thought was going to be number one overall selection. But really, from three to 13, cost him 10 draft spots, potentially. That's one thing. But um, the the accusations that will now come, it's not really accusations. It's clear that something was going on at Ole Miss. And, um, and that, that has far-reaching. But at, how do you uh, cover this, Rich, with it, you have to validate it, but it's cover. It's changing the draft in real time. It is. Well, I mean, I we talked about it. Obviously, um, I even took a little bit of heat of saying, you know, after Ian Rappaport said that the agents saying it's a, a video that's five years old, I then went and took a look at it again. I'm like that. That did not to me look like a high school kid uh, in that video. It did not look five years old at all to me. The Dan Patrick Show weekday mornings on Audience.